The College of Charleston is renowned for its beautiful setting in one of the most historic cities in America. But in an instant, this scenic campus could become the backdrop to a scene that happens all too often across this country. We hope you will never be put in a situation to deal with a violent attack on campus, but in case you do, you need to be prepared. We're here to help you improve your chances of surviving a violent campus incident, like an active shooter situation. The College of Charleston public safety officers train countless hours to be prepared for emergency situations such as this. If an active shooter or similar violent episode requires the campus community to stay safe, our emergency management division will send what is called a Cougar Alert these are sent by phone, text, and email as soon as possible after determining a threat exists. A Cougar Alert will contain the most accurate information available at the time, but a violent attacker situation evolves rapidly and known details may be limited. That is why it is important for you to remain observant and use your senses to be attentive to your surroundings at all times times. If you encounter a violent attacker or receive a cougar alert affecting your area, the first and best option to survive is run, get out, quickly and safely evacuate the area. If you can get out, do it. Scatter and run. Get as far away as you can. Once you are safe, Call 911. Make sure you tell the 911 operator, who may be located within the city's dispatch center, that you are on the College of Charleston campus. Running away should always be your first priority. But what happens if you hear gunshots, hear screams from an attack, and you are unable to get out? Your second reaction should be to hide. If you are in a room, lock the door. Look for something to barricade entry points. Turn off lights. Silence your cell phones. The idea is to make it as hard as possible for the attacker to see you, find you, or get to you. And always spread out. Don't huddle together. That creates one easy target. If running isn't an option and hiding isn't an option, there is one final reaction that you should only use as a last resort if confronted by the attacker. Fight. Find anything to use as a weapon, a fire extinguisher, a chair. Fighting back is a last resort, but if it is between you and the attacker, we want you to survive. When preparing yourself mentally for this fight, remember something. Statistically, Active shooters and other violent attackers are apprehended or eliminated within the first five minutes of the incident. Once notified, our officers will respond to stop the attacker. You only need to fight until they do. That could be 10 seconds away, the most important 10 seconds of your life. It's scary to think about, but an active shooter or attacker is something that we all need to be prepared for. Whether you are a student or a member of our faculty or staff, take time to know your surroundings. Know at least two exits out of your room and building. Take different routes into and out of your building to become familiar with every possible escape route. Look around in the room you're in right now and find areas where you can hide or items you can use as weapons. Three simple words could save lives, so remember, Run, hide, fight.